Hi guys, EBP Man with Tablets for Me, and today we're going to do an unboxing review of the Soul Republic Shadow Wireless Bluetooth Headset. Now let's take a look at the specs a little bit closer. First thing that we'll highlight is that the Soul Republic uh, organization will replace the ear tips uh, for the life of the product, which is a great thing to know. Uh, next, uh, we'll highlight that it has a flexible collar, very similar to what you find with the LG line of uh, headsets. Uh, they propose an eight our battery life, which is also great to see. And then uh, lastly, you have some controls that we'll see as we do the unboxing that are going to allow you to easily access uh, both um, music and it has an onboard mic so they can use it uh, while taking phone calls. Uh, the last thing we'll highlight is that the headset is rain and sweat proof, which is another great thing, especially if you are outside and you get caught in the rain. Uh, one of the things I will say is that the headset isn't really, I would say, marketed as a sports headset, but if you are wearing it and you do get caught in the rain or if you do some light um, exercise, um, I think that the headset based on these specs should be able to hold up in those conditions. Let's go ahead and open up the packaging so you can see what's inside. Um, go ahead and flip this over. Here you have a nice instruction card telling you all the things that you should be doing, charging, connecting it to your cell phone, and then also adjusting the fit of the ear tips. Uh, here we have the shadow black version. And we're going to lift this tab here and see what's behind it. You have a instruction guide. So here you have your instruction guide. You also then have a safety guide. Here in this little compartment, we have our micro USB uh, charging port, which is great that it's using a standard charging cable. And it looks like here we have uh, several... Uh, tips, uh, ear tips that we can use uh, just to make sure that we have the right feel. So now taking a closer look at the headsets, the one thing that I just wanted to highlight is that the headset itself has a very rubbery feel to it. Not in a bad way, but it feels rubberized in all areas. It is also the type of headset that seems to be very flexible. You notice how I can just fold this like this, and I could just put it and wrap it around like this. Um, makes it very pocketable, meaning that I can just put it in, in a pocket, my shirt pocket or my pant pocket, uh, because of how flexible it is. It is not like the LG headsets, uh, especially the Ultra, uh, the new, their new um, headset, where uh, the actual collar is a firm or hard surface. Uh, um, that's one of the things I didn't like about uh, that specific one. But this one is uh, very flexible. You'll notice I can pretty much twist it any way, flip it around, because it is uh, so, so flexible. Uh, if we compare that, and here I have um, some LG headsets. Uh, LG has kind of like this hard um, area right here and then this area here is flexible and it does give you the ability to kind of um, flip it around like this but really you really can't go that far with it. Now uh, the actual headset themselves the cord that's coming from the headset uh, from the collar is if you notice right here it's a flat cord which is a nice feature it's a, it's a nice one but it does not have any kind of magnetic um, I would say retaining or, or, or holder just like we have here with the LG. So the LG version, you can grab it, you can place it right here and once it's stuck in place it's not going to come out. So that's one difference that you see there with the headset. The other thing is if we look at this headset again, it doesn't have this cord management system that allows you to shorten the cord, make it longer or shorter. Uh, it may not be a big deal for many people, but you know that is a difference. Now, if we take a look at the actual controls themselves, and we'll try to get a little closer right there, you have three buttons. The first button, uh, you're going to have your volume rockers, right? your up and down volume. This is a multifunction button, and this is going to be the button that you're going to use when you want to answer a phone call. So you'll press it to answer the phone call, you'll press it to hang up the phone call, and this, this is really going to be your multifunction button. Right, um, and it's also going to be used like if you want to play music because that's uh, it's only one button that will be able to support all those functions. Uh, you also have this little uh, pinhole that you see here is your mic, so that's your pinhole mic. And on the side right here, this little line that you see there, that is your LED indicator, so that will light up. And I like kind of where it's at because it's not on the outside, so you're not advertising to the world uh, that your headset is on, so you won't be blinking and you won't look like a plane as uh, in the night. Uh, because it's kind of concealed in the inside. Uh, here on the bottom, this is the power button. This is what you're going to press to turn it on. And on this side, let's see what we have here. Uh, we have our USB charging port. So if you flip this open, 
you'll be able to see that's your charging port and you notice it's a rubberized seal. Uh, this headset is uh, rated to resist rain and sweat. Uh, and it will be something that with this, the, f the flexible nature of it, again, look how flexible this is, uh, you should be able to use it in a variety of situations. Um, however, once again, as I mentioned in the intro, it's not really rated as a sports headset. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pair the actual headset to our phone. Now this uh, headset will support up to two phones that you can have connected at the same time. And you could switch between the phones. So for example, if you have a work phone and a personal phone, you can have them both connected. One, you could be potentially listening to music. And then when a phone call comes in, the music would be interrupted. And then you can take the phone call from the other phone or vice versa. So uh, in order to connect it, what we're going to do is we're going to find our power button. Remember, it's right here in the bottom. So we're going to press and hold it, and this is your LED area. So since this is the first time we're powering up this headset, it should go automatically into pair mode. And you can see how it's blinking, that it's looking uh, to pair. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come on my phone, and I'm going to go into the Bluetooth settings. I'll bring that in, uh, in here. And you'll notice here it says Shadow. All I'm going to do is I'm going to choose Shadow, and it's going to go through its pairing cycle. And uh, once, it's, uh, once it's paired, you'll notice here at the very top it says that shadow is paired. So now the headset has been paired, and you're also going to hear an audible uh, tone on the actual headset. Uh, so pairing is pretty simple. So now before we conclude the video, I just wanted to highlight the audio quality coming from the headset, which is really difficult to do because I really can't illustrate that uh, through the YouTube channel. But in my personal experience, if I compare this headset uh, from a bass, from just overall uh, how clear the music is, I do find that this specific headset um, is better than my LGs. And I have various versions of the LGs, and you've seen them all reviewed on the channel. So I find, uh, first of all, that the wear, um, I've been wearing this headset, uh, for several hours, uh, and I find that it is more comfortable than the LG line. Um, it's even, I would say, more comfortable than the uh, the Gear headset that's been reviewed on my channel. Um, I also find that the battery life, the eight-hour battery life, um, is um, close to as marketed. Uh, the second thing I'll highlight is that one of the things that I'd be careful with is that it only has one mic on one side. So you need to make sure that if you're wearing a jacket um, and you cover up that mic, people will not hear you. It does not have two mics on each side, which I wish it, wish it did. So that's um, a kind of a negative, but it's not a deal breaker. Uh, the other item that I'll highlight is if you do use this headset for running, um, and it really depends. It's, it's different for each person. Um, I tend to perspire a lot. And I found that the headsets um, don't stay in your ear if you're um, one of those type of people that tend to sweat a lot. So uh, that is um, uh, somewhat of a negative, but not a terrible negative. Because again, as I mentioned during out the video, this headset is not really marketed as a sports headset. Right? It's more of a, I would say, active user, um, all-around um, use uh, headset. I do like the overall feel of it, and as I said, that this rubberized and the fact that this is so flexible, as we we showed in the video, just makes it a, a, a delight to wear around your collar or around your neck, um, and it's so light that you really don't feel it. So, uh, with that, I conclude this video of the Shadow Wireless Bluetooth headset. If you have any comments or questions, please leave it on the YouTube channel. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.